Hi, and welcome to a quick walkthrough of a life of an ArcSight administrator using the ArcSight Management Center, a key part of the ArcSight Data Platform solution. First thing we need to do is log in and see what's going on. Now, I do know that I got some alerts during the night that there was some issues with the networking as well as some of the key components within the ArcSight solution. So that's OK. I was alerted to that already. But more importantly, I need to be able to dig into that and see what's going on. Now I've walked into the office. And what we can see is that we know that there's a couple of connectors that are actually showing up as fatal. It's showing them that the connectors are down now. We can also see there's a warning to do with one of our loggers as well. We need to dig into that and have a closer understanding of what's going on. But I'll do that in a second. One of the first things I want to do is just check my overall licensing levels. I know I had some peaks in the past, and that's okay because it averages out the licensing over that period of time. But what I do need to make sure is that everything's back to normal and certainly within our license limit, which is great. What we do need to do now is have a closer look at what's going on, what we call the topology view. So what we can see is how is everything's laid out and based within our data center specifically. First thing I'm going to do is take a closer look at the Washington data center. And we can see that everything's looking green. So that's great. But I can actually dig into the various components and see the event rates. I can see what's working. And I can see where it's, what the and I can see where the data is going as well. But what I do need to do is dig into the Denver data center and understand what's going on there, because that's where I've got the problems. And here we can see that these two connectors are reporting as being failed. And actually, I can click and dig into those and see what the actual error messages are. So there we go. It's actually showing as unreachable. And I've got some of the data of what was done previously. But what's actually showing is that that's been down for some time. I think it's probably a networking problem, but I'll dig into that later. The next thing I need to do is have a closer look at my event broker. This is a new component for us, which we've only just installed. It's a cluster that allows us to integrate directly with third-party solutions, as well as with ArcSight components as well. In this case, we're using Hadoop to do some long-term data storage of some of our key log data. We've already got some rules in place to make sure that our VPN data is going, but I do need to quickly add a rule to make sure all our Windows data is getting sent in there as well. So here we go. We're just making sure that we send the data to the relevant Hadoop topics so it can be consumed as part of the infrastructure. We can define a rule that allows us to do this. So in this case, I only want to make sure that I'm just sending Windows events. And I know that my Windows events are going to be tagged as a particular product here. So what I can do is I can just create the rule, click Save. And that then pushes the rule to the, cl the actual cluster that's now going to make sure that those events are made available on that topic for my Hadoop system to consume the data simply and easily. And I've just done that through a simple single interface. But the next thing I need to do is just make sure that all my connectors are up to date as well. I know that there is, was an update a couple of days ago, so I just need to make sure that everything's OK on these. So here we can dig into all of the nodes and the various components. But I know that I need to double check in my Washington data center. What I can see is that everything's working OK and there's no issues. But there is a couple here reporting as, as yellow, indicating and I probably want to do some upgrades on the agent controls that we've got in place here. That's OK. It's only showing as yellow. So I don't need to update anything at the moment. But what I do need to do is dig into one of these connectors to make sure everything's running OK. So here we can see a couple of the connectors here, and we can run the latest version here as it's showing both of the framework and the parsers. But I can also see that one of them is running a slightly older version. It's only showing as a warning, but I probably should update it at some point in the near future. So I could easily just select it and click upgrade and actually trigger that upgrade there and then. It's a very simple and straightforward process where I can see and manage all my connectors and the parser versions to make sure that they're up to date, even roll back as necessary. It's a very simple and powerful way of doing things. So as you can see, this is a very simple and powerful mechanism to allow us to have central administration and control of our ArcSight data platform environment using the ArcSight Management Center tool itself. Thank you very much for your time.